Okay, obviously it was a tough loss, um, you know, for our team. I am proud of our guys, uh, the way they competed. Um, our defense played extremely well until they got worn down. Uh, really stands out to me the time of possession is, is double. Uh, they just got worn down offensively. Just didn't get first downs, really just didn't get it done. You know, two of 12 on third downs, I really think uh, you know, that really caused, um, that caused the, the, the problem. 20 plays in the first half. And then really if you look at it in the first half, uh, even with 20 plays, we had a chance. I mean, we were right there in the game. We went three and out, and I think they scored. Uh, and then it was kind of uphill battle uh, from them. Uh, but third downs, uh, didn't hit explosive plays. Defense was on the field too long. That was really the, the story of the day. Um, obviously, we got players in there that are hurting, coaches are hurting. It's a tough one. Um, didn't play well. Give them credit. They're a good team. Uh, we really expect to play better than we did. Questions? Does you feel like you put your I mean, you know, we had some opportunities. It's, you know, we just didn't execute. So I, I'm not going to say him or anybody else. We just didn't offensively. Uh, anytime you go 2 of 12 on third down, and, uh, you know, it's a collective group. We had a couple opportunities. We didn't seize the moment. I think we had a sack, um, you know. So it's not one person's uh, fault, put it that way. You called it a feeding frenzy. You know, you're, you're exactly right. I totally agree. You know, our goal was to try to get third and six and less, and we just didn't get it done. You know, we had the 20 plays in the, the first half, and, uh, you know, I think three or four of those were negative plays. And so you're exactly right. You know, the third down and seven plus, I mean, they're, they're the best in the country at that. And, uh, you know, that was, that was definitely tough sledding. Still had a couple opportunities. Um, came close on, on one or two, but uh, that, was, that wasn't the plan. When was the decision made that uh, Sean was going to play with Sergeant Reed? You know, uh, Sean practiced. It wasn't 100%. We just had to make the decision, um, you know, how healthy he was. Just didn't feel like he was healthy enough to play. And, uh, you know, Jeremy had a good week last week, had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, our plan was to play play Jeremy and play John. We wanted to play John a little bit more. Um, and then, of course, towards the end of the game, we just felt like we needed a spark. John did a good job with that. Uh, you know, moved us down the field a couple times, made a, a play with his legs on third down and 10, and then he hit a deep one, and then we hit a screen and got some pace and tempo going, but, uh, you know, that was the plan. Did you ever, with Sean dressing out, <coughs> up, did you ever think that there would be a situation for him to play? Why did he dress well, out? Well, you know, if, if you have two injuries type deals, it's an emergency, emergency type deal. I mean, that was really our only thinking, you know, as far as that goes. Uh, he had an ankle injury and wasn't able to, to return. I mean, Daniel Thomas, a true freshman, had an outstanding game. Uh, I think he had two interceptions, made a, a lot of big tackles, and really stepped up. I mean, when you lose one of your impact players, you know, that, that's tough. But uh, gave Daniel an opportunity. He played very well. Gus, that's the second time this year where you've gone to John to get a spark. Yeah. Why not go to him more and give him an opportunity to yeah. show you what he could do this year? Yeah, you, you know, you just as a, as a coach, you figure out you know what you think is the best plan for your team. And, you know, obviously, you're, you're exactly right. Twice he's done that. And um, so in the future, you could you could see more. Are you involved with play calling today? Uh, we've been doing the same thing the whole time since LSU game. So. It, it looks and resembled a lot of the season Well, James, really, you know, we were just trying to, to move the ball, and that was part of our plan. And like I said, you know, we, we started Jeremy. Uh, our plan was to play John Moore. We just felt like, you know, he could give us a little different dynamic, you know, with the zone read and stuff. They did a pretty good job defending him, zone read, when he was in there. But, uh, you know, Wildcats are part of what we do anyway. Um, so, but, you know, that's we've been doing the same thing since LSU. Was, was Cameron helping up to play in hindsight, or did you feel like he was well, I mean, obviously he's not 100%, but, you know, he wanted to play. And, um, you know, and I, I thought he did some good things out there. He's not 100%, but, I mean, that's just part of it. That's the first half you guys didn't throw the ball down the field. Yeah. Was that just the game plan? You, you know, I think the fact of only having 20 plays, we did have some shots down the field, but when you only have 20 plays, I think six of those were third downs. And, uh, you know, we, we thought we'd be more successful, but we didn't. Did have some plans to throw the ball down the field, but we didn't have enough plays to probably get it done. What was the thinking there on the, uh, 
was the thinking there on fourth and three with Chandler Cox throwing out the wildcat? Yeah, um, you know we you know we had a couple guys open. We've, we've been practicing for about um, you know, six to eight weeks on some certain things. I think he felt a little bit of pressure there, and, but uh, hey, we were trying to score a touchdown at that point, you know, and so that was our thinking. Do you ever think that after the, the role you guys got on, you'd be in this position where two of your three worst offensive performances of your career <laughs> happened yeah. against Georgia and Alabama after what happened in those six straight wins? Yeah, you, you know, there, there's been some ups and downs. Obviously, you know, the first of the season, it was really tough, and, and our guys really rebounded. And I'm, I'm proud of those guys doing that. We got a little banged up a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had some of our key guys that um, you know weren't, weren't there or, or uh, weren't 100%. And um, you know, we didn't do a very good job two weeks ago, and uh, obviously we didn't do a very good job today. But I will say this: we got a really young team. Um, we got a lot of talented young guys. Um, we're going to be really good in the future. So this is just one of those growing years of some ups and downs. In hindsight, do you look back and see if anything you could have done better or at least last this last month? <laughs> well, you know, I, I think anytime you don't perform what you would like to perform. There's all kinds of things that you know you would try to try to do better. I mean, that's just part of coaching. That's 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 what we're we're supposed to do. But uh, obviously, we didn't get it done late. Uh, I still really love our team. Uh, we got a bunch of young guys. Like I said, uh, we played played some good teams, and we weren't completely healthy. But uh, that's part of it, you, and that's no excuse. You gotta you gotta get it done, and we didn't get it done. Is it possible that Sean just won't even be available for the bowl game? You know, I, I I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll we'll see. I mean, he he was trying to play and he was trying to get himself ready to play this week and just wasn't healthy enough to play. So you know, bowl game, we'll see. We'll have some time and and we'll see. Called on Dana Carlson quite a bit. Seemed to keep you guys in it the first half. Yeah, he did. He, he sure did. You know, that was you know we had the big punt return. Uh, you know, boy, you'd like to. You know, first play, we had a little mix up and you'd like to put seven down there, but Daniel did a super job again. He's the best kicker in college football. He's a huge weapon. Um, he showed that again tonight. What's the feeling going into halftime? Only giving up, only having 31 yards going down by four points. You know, we felt pretty good. Uh, we felt like we played about as bad as you can play all offensively, and we still had a chance to, we were still in the game. We got the ball coming out the second half. Our defense played outstanding, and, uh, you know, we were feeling feeling really good, you know, coming out of halftime. But we, like I said, we went three and out, and then they went and scored, and then it was uphill, you know, after that. How different is this team when Sean White's not out there? I mean, Sean White's our leader. I mean, Sean White's uh, our quarterback. I mean, you know, we're we're pretty efficient when he's healthy. Guess what you say to this fan base with six straight losses to George and Alabama, in particular, the past two years, some very poor offensive performances in these games against your primary rival. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we're disappointed, but like I said earlier, we got a young team, very talented team, um, and the future's very bright, and, and we'll rebound. Take two more. Yeah. Coming on Stephen Roberts, the punt return, taking over from Marshall. Yeah, and also I thought Stephen Roberts did a good job on the on the punt return. He's got a low kick, and he caught it on the run, and just just hit it downhill, and made a couple a uh, couple guys miss, almost scored a touchdown. Uh, so I thought that was uh, very good to see. Gus, you said the future's bright. However, you have struggled at the quarterback position the past two years. You had last year to get it solved in the offseason. Yeah. It's the same position. What are you going to do differently during this offseason? Well, I mean, obviously, if Sean White would have stayed healthy, I, I don't think we would. You'd be even asking that question. But right. you got to have have depth, and um, you know, we'll we'll go to work on that. Going off of that, I mean, is there any sense of that as a coach that sometimes you wonder? Say it again. Going off of that, do you have sometimes that role as a coach in games like this, maybe you need the actor to say we were healthy. Different things I'm sorry, it'd be a little louder. When, uh, as a coach, when you have injuries, those happen. With games like this, do you have moments where you say maybe right after, man, if we were only healthy, we might have been I mean, I mean uh, to, to be honest with you, I mean, you really can't think that way. You, you, you get next man up, you, you, you have the guys healthy that, that are healthy, and you got to find a way. And um, so I, 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 don't, I don't go there. All right, coach. Thank you.